the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Cedric Kushner Promotions is proud to present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment from Madison Square Garden, New York City. Brought to you in association with DeBella Entertainment, the King of Beers, Budweiser, and the brand name of Boxing Everlast. And from all of us, our best wishes to Michael Katz for a speedy recovery. This contest is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairman Ray Kelly. And now, courtesy of Cedric Kushner Promotions and Eminem Sports Murad Mohammed Promoter, a special world title contest. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be George Colon, Melvina Lathan, and Tony Paulillo. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Steve Smoger. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF featherweight Championship of the World! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with silver. He officially weighed in at 125 and three quarter pounds. And his professional record stands at 55 bouts. 51 victories, including 28 knockouts, with only two defeats and two even. And he has captured four world titles. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, the challenger, four-time world champion, Mirita Loca, Johnny Tapia. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with red and green. He officially weighed in at 126 pounds. In a professional record covering 71 bouts, he has been victorious 60 times, including 27 knockouts, and he has 11 losses. From Tijuana, Mexico, presenting the reigning and defending RBF featherweight champion of the world, Manuel Mantecas Medina. Johnny, Manuel, por favor. All right, gentlemen, you're giving your instructions, both in Spanish and English. The way in, please obey my commands, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Ready to go, Johnny? Touch him up. Okay, guys. Johnny. Tony. We are ready to roll here. Round one, Tapia in the black trunks, silver trim, and the champion, Medina, in the white trunks. As you can see, he's taller and he has the reach. And Tapia fighting for the first time for a world title at 126. Both of them four-time champions. And what a career they've had. Medina, 17 pro years. Tapia, 14 pro years. 31 years among these two guys. And they are so durable. Medina is a crafty, gritty fighter. And the question remains, Tapia, will he show up as the brawler? Or will he show up tonight as the mover and puncher? He's always had his best success when he moves and fires, moves and fires. But right now, he's on the attack. Don't punch, don't punch. Step, step. Medina's had more title fights, four times champion. Hasn't had many defenses. I think only five defenses. And he's been in seven other fights. Seven other title fights. Right hand from Medina. Tapia putting the pressure on here in round one. This is Dick Landis at ringside. A right hand from Tapia. 
Fabi is going for it. He's been in some wars. Putting the pressure on a short right hand to Medina's draw. Medina with a combination. We recall the two fights that Tapia had with Paulie Ayala. Two tremendous fights. In the first fight, Tapia got angry and he brawled and it hurt him. In the second fight, he fought extremely well but lost another controversial decision to Ayala. Medina fighting back here in round one. Uh, Medina's not a power puncher at all, but he's durable and he's fairly accurate with his punches. Ten seconds remaining here in round one. The IBF featherweight title at stake. Mouth is opening up for those body shots. Get that head in motion, a lot of face with your hands, and keep digging that belly with both hands. Wear him out these early rounds. Your hand landing those hooks all day long. Keep popping with them. You can triple them up, triple them up. Deep breath. Le hacen la pinta, te jala para atrás y lo cantea. Porque es lo que está tratando, su percate con el rechazo por arriba. No saque la derecha y le dejes el cuerpo adentro, ¿me entendiste? Sí. Es puro boxeo, poco a poquito. Ya viste que te meten fácil. Ya viste que entran los golpes, ¿verdad? Ya viste que entran los golpes muy fácil, ¿verdad? Let's go back to the first round. Some action. Both fighters tangled up a little bit. Well, Tapia is uh, apparently going for it. At least if we can take the first round is what he intends to do. He's a good mover and puncher. Uh, here he goes now. He's moving a little bit. He'll move to his right, move to his left. One thing about Medina, Medina has been known to use his head to butt other fighters. And he's also been known to bleed a lot. Tapia feeling very comfortable at his weight of 126. Got him in a corner. Medina won the title in November of last year over Frankie Toledo. Sixth round knockout. Toledo started the brawl. Medina took advantage of it. And he finished off Toledo with a five-punch combo, followed by a three-punch combo. Mostly uppercuts. Step, 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 step. Excellent, excellent. Good exchange. As you can see, Medina is not a, not a hard puncher. Somewhat of a low blow from Johnny Tapia. Body shot from Tapia. Right hand, over, or overhand right from Medina. Medina trying to use his uh, reach and height advantage. If Tapia can remain emotionally stable, He's a very good fighter, but he has been known to get upset during a bout. And when he does, he goes wild. And a veteran fighter like Medina could take advantage of that. Holy Ayala did. A hard left from Tapia. Tapia's trying to jab, but just doesn't have the range. Right hand from Medina, followed by a left. 
Dana boxing better here in the second round. Tapia goes to the body. Ten seconds remaining in round two. Round three. And what I feel, unofficially, of course, is uh, an even fight at this point. Medina, the champion. And Tapia would just love to win his fifth world title. The first loss that Tapia suffered was in June of 99 to Paulie Ayala when he lost his WBA Bantamweight title. He was decision. Fight of the year, a lot of people called it. Good combination from Medina. Left right combination. Very good. Tapia is starting to move inside and rough it up a little bit. He's best fighting from the outside. But keep in mind, Medina is using his reach advantage very well right now. Some good punches from Medina and uh, some counter punches by Tapia. Oh, there's one. A couple of good shots to Medina's face. Keep in mind, here are two fighters. One has 60 wins, the other one has 51 wins. <laughs> Tapia smiles as Medina took a, a little shot at him as they broke. Tapia right now having trouble getting to Medina. Medina's moving nicely, using the ring, sticking out the jab. Comes to the center of the ring, jabs, backs up. Tapia a little bit frustrated at this point. This is a case of the champion having a great weapon with his reach advantage. You can see uh, Tapia trying to fire back, but short. Uppercut inside from Medina. When Medina won the title back in 98 from Lizarraga, they said it was an upset and his career was over. And we end round three. Very nice, very nice. Now look, you're making him miss. We have a packed house. This featherweight title fight has uh, drawn a lot of attention simply because of it's close. Okay. Keep those hands turn it on. Fellow to the like Tony Tapia. Turn it, turn it on, baby. Don't let him try to out hustle you. And the champion Punch Medina. with him. Punch with him and golpearlo. Hazme caso lo que te estoy pidiendo. No te fajes con él, ¿entendiste? 
No tiene necesidad de fajarte. Ahí le va. Ni le sigas el juego, ¿qué? Está desesperado ya, Manuel. Cuando hagas pavientos, cuando le pegues un golpe, sigue manejando el mismo ritmo. No le hagas caso a los pavientos, ¿me entendiste? Concéntrese. El punto. Here we go, round four. In a close fight. But it seems to me that Tapia has to solve the problem of getting inside on Medina. Medina is hitting and moving. Jabbing, hitting, throwing a combo, moving away. There it is, perfectly. Tapia just can't reach him. Combo, back up. Tapia is swinging at midair. There's a left, though, that landed. As I mentioned earlier, when uh, Medina beat Hector Luzaraga in April of 98, they said it was an upset because Medina was at the end of his career. He was over the hill, and it was thought to be his last great performance. <laughs> and uh, he moved on from there. He lost the title to Paul Engel and then regained the title last November from Frankie Toledo. 17 years in the ring. And right now he's fighting a, uh, a, a beautiful fight. Moving, hitting, moving. Tapia is uh, able to reach him occasionally, particularly if he can get him over against the ropes. There's a left hand that hits and pushes Medina off balance. Johnny Tapia, he's been in a lot of wars. Won the WBO Super Flyweight title in 94. Won the IBF Super Flyweight title in 97. Won the WBA Super Flyweight title in 97. And won the WBO Bantamweight title in 2000. And of course he lost that to Ayala, which was Tapia's first loss. There's some inside fighting from Tapia. And Medina moves away. Hit and run, Medina. Sticks the jab in there, throws the right hand. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Johnny, move to the right and punch. Good. He's wide open for those shots to the right. Nothing. Right? Listen, Good. you're pulling him into those hooks. You're landing one, one at a time, land four and five. Okay. Just punch at the, at the, at the chest down. Okay. Don't worry Good. about the head. Just start making combinations. I want you to get to being where you're shaking your head and moving and get into a rhythm, all right? Okay. Get that rhythm. Don't make it so... Quema de trabajo. Hazme caso, por favor, muy importante, eh? No tienes que noquearlo. No avientes el cuerpo, Manuel, porque te puede dar un cabezazo. Es lo que, está, bus es lo que está buscando él, hijo. Es lo que está buscando él principalmente. Está en las cuerdas, entras tú y está tratando de pecarte con un counter. Píntalo, la variación es muy importante que la manejes. No te quedes adentro. Jesse, Jesse. Here we go, round four. Close fight. The champion, Medina, won his first world title 11 years ago. Four-time champion, has never kept his titles very long. Johnny Tapia's got him in the corner. You heard what his corner told Tapia. You got to throw multiple punches. You got to move. Tapia trying to land him on Medina's midsection. Oh, 
counter left from Tapia. Tapia settling down a little bit in round four. Seemed to be a bit frustrated in round two, and particularly round two. Now he's stalking. A couple of good shots from Medina. Tapia has a, a very good left hook. Does a lot of damage with it. There, there's the left hook. Right hand from Medina. Misses and takes a counter left to the midsection. Good right hand from Medina. Off Tapia's jaw. Medina, Medina countering and moving. Medina is very, very good at maintaining a game plan. A flurry of punches from Medina, and he takes a counter right to the face. And his nose looks to be bleeding a bit, but then Medina does bleed a lot for most of his fights. So don't let that fool you. Tapia's corner is yelling to him to use the jab, but. The jab is too short. Good, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Very good. Medina's doing a good job of keeping Tapia off him with his, with his jab as we come to the end of round five. No, 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 no. We'll take a look back in round five. Glancing right from Tapia. Misses with the left. And there's a solid right off Medina's jaw. Nose was beautiful. Don't, 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 don't delight. Don't, don't not use it again. You're winning. I love you. I'll pick up three champion. But I want more. I want more. Round six coming your way. Twelve rounds. The champion, Manuel Medina in the white trunks. Won the title not long ago from Frankie Toledo. His first defense against Johnny Tapia, now fighting at 126. Medina's been doing a good job of boxing, moving. Tapia has had his moments, but seems to be stymied by the jabs and the movement from the champion. Tapia has done a lot of damage with left hooks to the body. There's one you just saw. Hands up coming out. But he's got to get inside. And that's difficult with Medina moving around the ring. Moving and jabbing. Letting go with a combination. Tapia with his shoulders hunched. Trying to move inside. Try to get inside that jab. Try to counter to the body. There's a couple of jabs from Tapia. But he takes a, a combination from Medina. Tapia is putting on the pressure. Watch your head. The Watch champion your head, just guys. slides away. We're looking.
looking at a couple of slick boxers. Veterans of the ring. Amazingly out, durable guys. That's it. Hands up, guys. And in some ways, Medina looks fragile physically, but he's tough and smart and crafty and gritty. Low blow. It was a short, I don't know whether you saw that, a, a short chopping left from Tapia. The left is the weapon. Six round action. And we're down to 10 seconds and less here in round six. Ruben, get his eyes. I'll take care of this. You got Don't it. follow him. When he comes to the right, shoot that right hand, bro. Shoot that right hand. You, you, you're doing like the Paul English do, bro. Okay. But to shoot that right hand, when you see him coming, bam, shoot Hey, it. you're looking go. for one shot all the time. Look at combinations. Right. I want you to start backing him up with a jab and get into a rhythm. Punch with him. Beat him to the punch. Okay. You got speed. I want quick feet and moving those hands. Yes, all right? Hey, I didn't mean to. It's quite all right, Johnny. It's quite all right. You know, I got to stick no, no, you're good. Take it over. No, no, no. 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 No, IBF featherweight title. Four-time champion. Tapia, four-time champion at various weights. Now a featherweight. Very comfortable with that. A left glances off Tapia's face. And a right. Medina doing a great job of boxing. And his corner's yelling, take Medina's jab away from him. And Medina just slipping and sliding. Tapia fought a great fight with Cesar Soto in June of last year. Showed great speed, defense, footwork. He did get stung by left hooks. And he started the brawl, he got off his game plan, but then he started to box later on. And he went on to do extremely well, and it was hooks to the body that won it for him. Oh, he can be a wild man in the ring, and he can be a boxer in the ring. And I think you're seeing a little bit of both here tonight. He's frustrated because Medina is moving so well fighting a, a, a great game plan, jabbing, throws a combination, backs off, comes in with a right hand. Tapia just can't get in close enough to throw multiple punches. And his corner keeps telling him, throw the left hand three or four times. And he can't. Dean is just too elusive. And his corner is telling him to tap you, jab your way in, but I, he, he can't. Medina's just uh, moving, hitting and moving. Medina's doing to Tapia what Tapia has done to opponents when he's fought his best fights. And this is a classic case of the taller man with a reach advantage using it. Seventh round action. The right hand off Tapia's face. Tapia comes right back. Tapia's putting pressure on. He's trying to get inside. He's trying to land that left hook to the body. 
Look at Medina, back and forth, back and forth. And we come to the end of round seven. You see how loose you're getting on your feet? Beautiful round, keep it up. I got the nose. Hi, Johnny. You see how you got those hands in motion and you're starting to move with your body? And then you dig that belly and go back to the head? You can chop him down with the right hand in close. All right? Try to keep both hands free. Don't let him get his arms on you. All right? Here we go with a replay. There's that left that Medina bounced off of Tapia's jaw. And he sticks the right hand as he just keeps Tapia off him. Round eight. Interesting fight. If you're a boxing purist, you got to be enjoying this one. Johnny Tapia won his fourth title in January of 2000 when he won a unanimous decision over Jorge Elisir Julio. And he used great footwork and timing, the jab, the left hooks, the meat and potatoes of his arsenal. He controlled the pace, he moved, he fired, he moved, he fired. And here tonight, he's putting the pressure on Medina, who is moving and firing. The Tapia's trying to get inside. He's obviously physically stronger. But he just can't. Get Medina to stay in one spot. Here comes Tapia now, putting on the pressure. Medina slides along the ropes, comes with a left hand. Throws a combination. Another combo. Tapia getting a little wild. Very good, guys. Hands up, hands up. Tapia's, Tapia has to keep his cool. And you can see when he gets inside, he throws that left hand. He, he can't jab, though. When his corner wants him to jab, he just can't jab. He's not getting the range on the jab, so he's got to get inside. And this is uh, the pattern that is won. Tapia putting on the pressure, trying to get inside. Trying to throw left hooks to the body. And Medina's sticking to his game plan. There's a left hook that hit Medina's midsection. A couple of left hooks from Medina. There's no doubt about it, Tappy is the aggressor. There's a combination from Medina. You see, he dances in, throws a combination, dances back out. Tapia has a mark under his left eye. Doesn't seem to be anything serious. As we come to the end of round eight in a very interesting fight. Johnny with your hand. A little busier with your hands. Oh, but Kirk, I'm still chopping, baby. Johnny. Johnny, yes, sir. Yes, sir. you notice how you pushed his arms off you from holding you and you kept banging? Yeah. I want more of that. Don't let him hold you. Get rough with him. Get your shoulders in there. Okay. Turn your body and I want you digging. All right. All right, digging. I want combinations now. <laughs> Levántalo. Entra con tres, cuatro combinaciones, vuélvete a salir y sigue manejando la combinación de uno, dos. Pero hazlo. Hazme el favor de hacerlo así. Al llegar a la cuerda, finta por no de salte para el otro y pégale.
No te quedes a pagarte junto con él y lo canches, ni juegues luchas con él tampoco. No hay ninguna necesidad. ¿Por qué te pasa, güey? ¿Entendiste? Súbele el ritmo, por favor. Round nine. In a close fight. I would say, however, Medina is leading this fight. And you heard what they told Tapia. You got to get in there. You got to get rough. And also keep in mind that when Tapia has started the brawl and get rough, he has not been as successful. However, he can't do what he usually does that makes him successful. And that's to do exactly what Medina is doing. Moving and hitting. Move and fire. Move and fire. He's got Tapia off balance. There's a left hook to Medina's jaw. And there's a short chopping right from Medina to Tapia's jaw. Medina fought a pretty good fight against Nassim Hamad for the WBO title in Dublin, Ireland. He lost in the 11th, TKO 11, but he fought an extremely good fight against Ahmed. Steve Smoker telling Tapia to keep his punches up. But that's what happens when, when you're trying to go inside low and your best punch is a left hook to the body Watch your head, Johnny. Watch against out. a Watch taller your man. Head. Dana continues to move. There's a right hand. Medina bounces it off Tapia's jaw. Tapia putting on the pressure. Both men in great shape. I mean, they've kept up a punch. I mean, a, a good pace. Keep in mind, these are two fighters who always throw a lot of punches. They're busy fighters. They punch a lot. They're in great shape. They're both quick. And you see what Medina's doing, hit and run. And he knocks, pushes Tapia down and takes a tumble himself. Okay, guys. That's intensity, folks. Johnny Tapia, what a man. Overcame drugs, prison, family tragedies. As we come to the end of round nine. Charlie, did you see how many say one? Yes. Send them walking down, walking down, right, walking down and get rough. Right, Johnny, get rough. Go. Get rough. Let the hands go, Johnny. Get rough. Right? Let right, those right, hands go. We'll go back in the last round and you'll see some uh, tumbling here. <laughs> These two fellas are really, really going at it. There's a headlock from Tapia that trips up Medina. A little bit of wrestling there. Round 10. And the pattern has not changed. Medina dancing, moving in and out, jabbing, throwing a combination, backing off, using the whole ring. Tapia pressuring, pushing in, trying to land multiple punches, but only getting one or two good shots as he does. There's a good combination from the champion. And see, as soon as, as soon as Tapia gets him against the ropes, Medina ties him up. 
Here's a low blow. Go punch, step, 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 hands up. And the crowd loves it. The crowd loves it. This is some fight. Here comes Tapia putting on the pressure, waving his hand to the crowd. They love it. He's got Medina on the ropes. Here he comes. Another low blow. Here's a double jab from Medina. Medina trying to hold him off. Uppercut from Medina. Medina showing a lot of patience, being very cool and calm, and he's getting roughed up. What a fight this has been. But these two guys have been in these kind of fights throughout their entire prize fighting career. Sorry, you push his head down. You all right, kid? Yeah, man. Okay, go. I don't think either one of them ever fought a dull fight. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Great. Come on now, you guys. Come, <laughs> I on, don't now. Want... Come on now. Yeah. Tapia getting, getting a little contact. out of control. Steve Smoger telling me, telling him about it. There's a right hand that bounces off Tapia's nose. That's it. Happy is going to have to land that left hook, but he's going to win it here near the end of round 10. two rounds big. You hear me? Yeah. Don't give him anything. Okay. Take it away from him. Listen to me. This is where this comes into play. Okay. Bring it all out. Don't save anything. Okay. You don't need to rest. Take it away from this son of a gun. I will. Don't let him steal it from okay. you. Don't let him steal it. This is your fight. Okay. All the way. Squeeze. All right. Let's go, baby. Come on. I'm quick. I'm still trapping. I ain't getting robbed, Mr. Reed. No, Sir Reed. No, Take him out, son. Take him out. You hear me? Good. Take him out. I hear you. Tear That's that head off his shoulders. That's the motherfucker. He's like a guy's too. Come on, Manuel. Adelante, adelante. No te vayas a pegar en la cabeza. Al centro del estómago. Okay. Hágale caso, por favor. Don't get it. Don't get that. Here we go. Hold on to your chair, Push. round 11. Hey, did they have Tapia fired up in the corner or what? <laughs> he is a firebrand. But the champion continues to jab and move. Tapia throws a right hand, a, glance, a glancing right. Trying to duck under the jab. And if you notice, Medina sometimes almost backhands him off the jab, you know, land the jab and kind of backhand him with a, a second jab. Here's the jab from Medina. Trying to hold Tapia off if he can. Yeah, you all right now? Watch a couple. Oh, we had a little bit of a headbutt and as I mentioned earlier, Medina has been known to use his head to open cuts on his opponent. He did it to Frankie Toledo. And Toledo quit on his stool at the beginning of the sixth round because of a bad head cut. Now Medina has an urgency about him. He's got to keep moving. He's got to keep hitting and moving. Tapia looking for an opening. Bulling his way in. 
trying to land that left hook, but he can only land one or two at the most. He misses with a left. But you gotta love these two guys. Are they warriors or what? Watch your heads, watch your heads. Again, Steve Smoger warns him about bumping heads. There's a couple of good lefts from Tapia. Medina pushes him off, moves around the ring. Here comes Tapia. He lets him ride. Hits Medina with a right. Hits him with another right. Might have rocked him a little bit. But Medina comes right back with the moving and the jabbing. Great fight. And what tremendous condition these fighters are in. We come to the end of round 11. Fix the tape on the on the right and the left hand. Now, you got some tape, Rob? Right? I got it. All right. Johnny, yes. more combinations, son. Yes. I want this round big. Okay. Oh, help. He's running like a thief. <laughs> Steal this next round big. You need this last round. Okay. You want close? All of it. Very close. close. You look good, baby. I didn't mean to. Keep that headbutt in my left. I know, you're Sorry. okay. You're all right. Hit my butt. I'm okay. I got you. I'm okay. Good. Mucho cambio de paso y tocarlo y pegarle. Después de tocarlo lo metemos y le pegamos. ¿Entendiste? Que se note sólido, ¿eh? Que se note sólido. El último, Manuel. Que se note sólido. 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 Que se there we go. Round 12. Manuel Medina defending his IBF featherweight title. And Johnny Tapia trying to win his fifth world title. Two incredible warriors. And I have a statistic for you. I mentioned earlier how both these guys throw a lot of punches. Well, Medina so far has thrown 1,300 punches. And from what I understand, that's close to a top of box record. He's been sticking that jab out, throws a combination, moves around the ring. There's a three, four jabs off top of his face. And he throws a series of hooks. He's scoring. And Tapia has been the aggressor all the way. You heard what they told Tapia in his corner, that Medina's running like a thief. Well, Medina's fighting a smart fight. It's been a close fight. I would have to say that Medina is winning this fight. But then I'm not a judge. There's a combination from Medina. Here comes Tapia. I guess if the judges uh, I just got word, I understand that Medina has just broken the copy box record for the number of punches thrown in a fight. And keep in mind that many of those punches were scoring punches. But Johnny Tapia has put the pressure on all evening long. And he has taken some punches. But he is just pressured, showing great conditioning. Two men in their 30s, Medina, who's career was thought to be over a couple of years ago. Tapia moving up in body weight. 
has been in some great wars. They've all, both these fellas have fought the best. As we come to the end of this fight, and what a fight it has been. Ten seconds, five seconds. There you go. Silver, guys, beautiful. A great prize fight. This packed house in Madison Square Garden standing, applauding. And if you're a boxing purist, you had to love it. Manuel Medina. All right, I'm, I'm going to give you the final tally, folks. Uh, Medina threw 1,466 punches, a new CompuBox record. Incredible. But that man right there, what a warrior. Pressure all night long. Just could not get inside the jab and the movement that the champion employed all fight long. He tried. And Manuel Medina, 31 years old, came in with 60 wins, 11 losses. Johnny Tapia came in tonight, 51 wins, just two losses, two draws. In fact, uh, this year Tapia went over to London and defeated Eduardo Alvarez in less than a minute of the first round. But tonight, he was stymied by that man, the champion. A man who has been in seven title fights, which he lost, and of course, he won four titles. And he's had just six title defenses, so he's won them, and he's lost them quickly. this is me here. You look good. Look good. Tapia's face is uh, reddened a bit. They put the end swell on. Because you're good. He took a lot of punches to the face. This is going to be a very interesting decision. And we're about to get it. We go to the Budweiser scorecards. Melvina Lathan scores the contest. 114 to 114. Even. Tony Paulillo scores it 115 to 113. George Colon scores it 115 to 113. For the winner and new IBF featherweight champion of the world from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Mi Vida Loca, Johnny. Well. Tapia. I have to say I'm, I'm a bit surprised by that decision.